The Chris Cummins Ride Guide. I'd always wanted to come mountain biking in Sildon, so this is kind of a dream come true. I know the spectacular steep-sided mountains of the Utz Valley really well from the snowy winter months when it's high perch in the Austrian Alps, the village itself is at 1,300 metres, means a near guarantee of good quality snow. And Dominic Linzer of Bike Republic Sildon says this lofty position means special biking conditions too. Actually, we are high alpine from peak to creek. Yeah, you can go from 3,000 meters to the lake to have a nice swim in the end of the day. We have different difficulties and it's, I think it's also the, the meters difference in, in altitude you can make. You can ride, let's say, 1,400 meters difference in the altitude on one ride. A lot has been happening to develop mountain biking here in recent years. Just under 3 million euros have been invested in the trails of Sildon in the past three years alone. And the winter gets shorter and the summer gets longer. And so I think it's very important to invest now into the summertime because maybe in 20 years this is our future. And Dominic has invited me to ride the trails, luring me with this seductive promise. You will feel the endorphins when they shoot through your body and you will have a lot of fun and a big smile on your face. So, on my first day in the valley, I head out with locals Manuela and Judith and an Ötztal Schäfer called Felix for some gentle riding. At first, tentatively, pointing my rented bike down the steep mountainside. This is Manuela. How was it? Geil. <laughs> 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 I've noticed what you have a lot of in Ötztal. You have a lot of gravity. It's quite steep round here. It is, um, but that's what actually... I think that's what, what we are made of, or what the Ötztal is made of. So that's our power, that's what we have, and that's what we actually appreciate. On the first day, we explore some of the beauty of the area on tight paths through forests that are favourite routes for Judith. I think mountain biking in Zelden is something special. It's the flow and the kick you got together. I'm deliberately taking it easy today. I don't want to injure myself before I've had a chance to try out the whole area. Yeah, you have different options. We have different difficulties, red, blue and, and black, like it is in winter on the slopes. It should be possible also for a, a normal guest who comes to Solden to ride down these tracks, to stop by, by an easy one and maybe in the end of the week to, to finish on the black. But I have to be honest here, after some unfortunate encounters with trees in the Vienna woods, I've got to admit I'm not a particularly competent and, above all, not a very confident rider of steep downhill sections. My fear of the rocks and the trees often overrides the joy of the flow of mountain bike speed. For people like me, it's a very good idea to take a guide. And my guide, Czech rider Kamil Pospisil, who's made Sölden his home, is a joy to spend time with. To stoke up my confidence, Camille starts me off at a practice section back in the village. Well, this is just a, like a pump track. It's like a practicing course or something where we practice before we're going to get like for real up on the mountains and just do it for real. So it's always good to know what to do and how to go through the corners and stuff like that. That's very important. When you're riding, basically keep your bottom like that behind. Fingers on the levers, you'll be fine. First of all, Camille takes me down the Tierra line where we enter a section of rolling bumps. It's what we call a tables. So it's all about you. If you go slow, it's fine. If you go fast, you're flying in the air. So that's what people like about it. So, yeah. What do you think special about mountain biking in Sölden? Well, that's the thing. Like, we're having the float trails, which is what we're riding now. And also we have the single trails. That's a little bit trickier technical riding. Obviously, these are man-made trails. They're easy to ride. The big rocks have been removed and the high banks kind of even out the gravity. That is controversial in some parts. Clearly the mountain has been adjusted to suit the needs of riders. Ski resorts like Sildon are of course industrialised nature rather than pure nature. And Camel and I did ride up on the gondola. 
But is it right to shape the earth to suit the needs of mountain bikers? Dominic Linzer says that his team try and do this in the most eco-friendly way. Well, we have a different system. We try to work with 30 people and it's a lot of handwork. We use little machines to try to get the water out of the track but you have the feeling the track is, is existing since 20 years even if we build it fresh and we open it two weeks ago. Can you combine respect for nature and trail building? This is Shaper Felix. Ja, man kann es vereinen. Wir haben jetzt ein Konzept erstellt, dass man äh, beides so viel wie möglich in einen Hut kriegt. Das heißt, äh, wir probieren der Natur so viel wie möglich wieder zurückzugeben. Das heißt, man haltet den Trail so schmal wie möglich. Man äh, baut eigentlich mit viel händisch, dass man die Natur nicht zu viel zerstört. Wenn wir was rausgeben, geben wir es natürlich sofort wieder zurück de, dem äh, der Natur. Das heißt, unterhalb und oberhalb von dem Trail wird das Material, das was wir rausgenommen haben, wieder eingebaut, dass das wieder festwachsen kann und wirklich nur die Idealspur oder nur die Spur der Trail ist dann für die Mountainbiker. Camille and I meet some of the shaping team building a new trail underneath the Gampen area of Sölden. Dominic Linzer says they're a special mix of workers. We have some specialists from all over the world. They are responsible for the design. We have the local workers who are making the wooden constructions and things like that. And we also have guys from Austria who, who didn't find work since a long time. Also the asylum seekers. For me, it's important that they feel comfortable, that they get work. And on another way, I don't think that our workers would have fun to, to make these little details. So you find for every work, you find a specialist. The flow trails are fun and a great place for me to build up my confidence. But to be honest, I also love the challenge of the high pasture single trail, moving more slowly but picking my way over the rocks and roots. It's a challenge of your sense of balance and, of course, your nerve. There's a sense of adventure. For me, the mix is important and for Camille too. Well, for a natural trail, it's much more technical. You have to be really careful how you use your brakes, how you move your body around the bike. For off road trails, you can maybe go a little bit faster because it's just nice and flat. You, know, you, you don't have to be that careful, <laughs> but it's always good to, to do both. It's always better to start with the flow, just get used to it, get confident, and then maybe a light single trails and the third or fourth try or attempt go for that one. My confidence is picking up and we've got a joyful afternoon of riding ahead of us. This again is local rider Manuela. We have told the world you should come to Selden for skiing. We haven't really told them to come to Selden for mountain biking, but we're going to do that in future because, um, well, as you see, it's worth coming, right? The Chris Cummins Ride Guide.